Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Morica and today I am going to be demonstrating how to apply acrylic on people who have almost no nails. Um, the hand model that I'm using I got at Sally's Beauty Supply. It is a Beauty Secrets brand. Um, it's a practice hand and I paid $9.98 for this. Um, upon taking it out of its package, I first noticed that it is extremely rigid and it makes it a little difficult to maneuver or manipulate the fingers in a way that is going to be easy to apply and to file. So there are other brands out there as well, I think that are a little bit uh, more flexible. But if you can master something this rigid, then when you go to do it on a real hand, you will be fantastic at it. Um, I, I don't know what it is made out of. Let me see what it says on the package here. Mm, um, it really doesn't tell me a whole lot. Just who distributes it. And it is made in China, but it, it doesn't tell me you know, if it's plastic or not. No, I'm not seeing it or what, what type of material. It, it looks like an, a plastic, a really hard, firm plastic. Um, let's see. So it's designed to, to mimic, you know, a real hand, of course, without the flexibility of what normal fingers, ugh, fingers have. Um, I did notice this. I did a demonstration for my nail group and um, I did notice today when I went to go remove the nails that I had done because I wanted to do this video um, that I had to take a drill to it and I noticed that the drill is not a very good tool to use on here. Um, it, it, it ate up <laughs> the fingers <laughs> and it's funny because in my head I'm thinking oh my god I'm hurting them but it's not a real hand. <laughs> And I was thinking to myself, oh my God, if this, if I was doing this on a real person, I'd be like sweating up a storm and they would never come back. But anyway, <laughs> so a little humor there. Um, so what I've done here is already um, uh, applied some product. This is what I had to start out with. I went to go size my tips to it, but I realized that the tips that I have and a majority of the tips that are out there have a slight arch. When I went to go put the tip on two here, it was not, it didn't fit right. So I thought, okay, so I'm going to have to look at this as though they are, um, they have no nail at all, a uh, nail biter. I'll look at it like that. So what's the first thing I have to do? It's I'm going to have to build a foundation in order to put on a form underneath to extend the nail. Um, I went ahead and did that and I was successful at it. Um, but what I did notice and what I did like is like, well, what if I want to show them how to do a tip? I still won't be able to show them how to do a tip because it's still too flat. So I went ahead and, like I said, I made a, a false nail. I put a nail on there as though they were a nail biter. And then I thought, well, let me try. I'm going to stick a tip on there. And it stuck. So I was like, okay, then I can go from this being the starting point, attaching a tip, and then doing a nail, which worked out great. Um... So what I'm going to do right now is demonstrate how I apply the acrylic to get it to this point, which you can see they're flat, they're really flat. And then I'm going to get them to this point where they have a little curve in them so that I can put a form underneath or I can go ahead and apply a tip. This will be like a starting point. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with all the fingers here. Now, once again, this is extremely rigid. I mean, I'm really using some force here. So I'm going to be holding her hand in ways I wouldn't normally hold a client's hand. So, um, okay. So what I've got is my, my little wipe it. I got my brush. I have actually got a couple of brushes I want to use. I got my liquid out, my monomer. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to put more monomer. I'll be right back. 
All right, what I'm doing is I'm adding monomer to my dish, and I wanted to show you this little trick that I learned a long time ago. Um, with a clean implement, and I'm using my cuticle pusher, I'm taking and hitting this edge to this point right here so that it will hit it and it will drip into, let's see if I can get that off. I try to save that so I can reseal it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking and I'm hitting it to here and then of course this is aiming into the pot so you don't have to worry about it leaking and dripping all over your table. Wish you could see that. There you go. It's a nice little trick there. It didn't get all, oops, a little bit did go off, but normally it won't. You see, I got a little bit here, but normally it doesn't do that. I'm trying to do it for, for the camera. <laughs> I'm not as focused. <laughs> it does work. Look, it didn't even come all the way down. It didn't even go all the way down. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, that works great, Amorica. <laughs> it went all over my table. <laughs> okay, that's how I do that. <laughs> of course, these are egg coddler dishes, if anyone is interested in knowing that. And they're made out of porcelain, so it's practically, well, it's glass. So um, ceramic is different. Ceramic is very porous, and it will seep out of ceramic. Um, but porcelain, uh, the liquid will not seep out. And it, Right now, I just topped it. There's no smell other than what I put on my cloth. Okay. So, we've got our clear We're opening up. And I'm using ASP for all my demos. That's pretty much what I use. Okay. And I've got my number 10 round which is in beautiful shape because I condition it and I use my brush cleaner. I'm I use uh, Tammy Taylor's Gardenia and it smells wonderful. All right, let's see if I get, make sure it gets into the, and you don't have to worry with this product about putting your cloth near your dishes because as this saturates, um, you know, you don't have to worry about your porcelain sticking to it or anything like that or melting it or melting the plastic. Okay, so um, this is mainly a demonstration for application. So I'm going to go ahead. So I didn't, of course, use the pH balancers or the primers. I didn't do the etching. This product is plastic. Monomers melt plastic. That's why when I tried to take the nail off, you see all the damage that was done to it. I just went back with my little e-file to smooth it out a little bit because I already knew that I was going to cap it like this. Uh, and this isn't coming off. I, I tried to get that off. It would not come off. So I know that once I do this, this is going to be my starting point from now on. Um... <clears throat> And the beauty of this is I can hit it with e-file. I uh, just have to be really super careful around the cuticle part because it will chew up all the cuticle because it's plastic. All right, so here we go. We're going to take our small a ball. And we're going to apply. It is a little warm in my room. Just kind of let it flow. Let's bring it slightly to the edge. You're going to hear me just blow a little bit because it is a little warm in here. It's a little harder to set up. I'm 
And like a real nail, we're going to keep it really nice and tapered at the cuticle. A very little bit there. And of course, I'm going to bring it to me at an angle that I can see it. Again, a little monomer, very little bit, just for the cuticle part. Now you may want to go a little thicker on a real client, that's for sure. But because this is going to be my model that I'm going to be using on a few demonstrations, I'm going to be laying a lot more product over it. So. I'm going to try to make this as natural as looking as possible. Clean up the sides. And there's one. Oops, sorry about that. I'm going to add a little bit more to the tip. just to give it a nice shape. This is the point where you build your apex when you do your extensions. This is where your nail, depending on the length that you go, will gain its strength. There you go. So you can see when I turn it sideways, this one's a little more curved. It's because where I had the other nail and the other product. So I could actually file this down just a little bit more. But this is what I'm striving for. Something that looks like what someone else would come in with. Let's see, does it focus? There you go. That's what I'm striving for. As to where this, you can see the difference. All right. Of course, this will melt the plastic, so I'm going to have that hit that. All right. Start with my first ball. It's either too warm in here or it's too cold. If it's too warm, it will stay very soft for a longer period of time. It gives you more time to play with it. But if it's cold, not only will it set up quicker, but sometimes it will crystallize. I'm feathering it forward or towards me. Sorry about that. I'll feather it back. All right, now we're going to hit the cuticle. So I'm going to take a medium sized ball. There you go. Then let it just slide back to that cuticle.
I'm looking at it head on from right to left and from left to right. Let's see a tiny gap right here. Using my pinky on my other pinky to steady my hand. And then right here at the tip, small bit, using pinky on pinky to steady my hand. I got pinky on ring finger to help steady my hand. There you go. I'm going to feather oops, gently back. Oh, there's still a teeny weeny dip here. So pinky on pinky, lay it right there. One stroke, just leave it, let it dry. All right. I'm going to go with a medium ball here, and I'm going to add right here. My goal is to file as little as possible. So I'm going to make sure that I can get the shape as perfect as I can so that I don't have to file so much. Okay, let's go to the next one. Hit it with a little plastic. Plastic melter, that monomer works great for that. Kind of breaks it down a little bit. Monomers are corrosive, just like acid primers. Until that monomer literally evaporates. And then all you're left with is your acrylic nail. Medium size ball. Let it flow, go side to side. And then right back at the cuticle, very little one, a very little bit. Gonna add another little ball here.
Acrylic application is a beautiful art form. Okay, then we're going to add to the tip a little bit more. Okay, we have it done. A little bit right there. Yep. And I think what's interesting is this being really clear, it's ASP clear, you can see the damage that was done when I used the drill or actually tried to get the product off and then use the drill I could have if if I would have known that the drill was gonna I mean it took barely anything for it to do that I would have never used the drill but I think it's interesting how there are a lot of clients that come to us with these kinds of issues you know it's just over time all right last one is the thumb before we're done and hit it with a little bit of monomer this feels different because I've got a little bit more room. But see, this is the issue I'm going to run into. If you noticed, in our own finger, you have that definite dip. Very definite. You know, all the way out to the end. Here, you don't have that. So I'm going to have to just ignore not having that and just build on my own. So we're going to go with a nice size ball here. Okay, help it a little bit using the body of the brush to release some of the liquid. I'm going to feather back. Have to come back. There you go. See, it's just wanting to go where it wants to go. Push all that back. Our nail would stop it. This is one point where this warmth in this room is actually helping me. size ball to join the two and to combine with the cuticle area sorry I keep hitting my camera by accident Body the brush, bring this down here. Very little, very, very little in the cuticle area. Let it settle using the body of the brush. Release a little of the liquid, makes it a little bit softer. And then you just go in and sweep out, in, sweep out, in, sweep out, then clean. A little 
tiny spot. I keep missing these little corners here. There you go. Like I said, this one's a little harder only because when I got to here, naturally our nails, either it's going to leak way over, but naturally we have these stopping points that are there to aid us. But when you've got a plastic hand, you have to work a little bit, or you have to focus a little bit more on those areas to where it's not going to over. All right. There you go. And that is pretty much my application. So they came out. There you go. Now my model has fingernails. <laughs> They're really short. And I'll be using her to do more demonstrations. But thank you so much for stopping by and visiting my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you haven't already clicked on the bell, click on the bell to get notifications of what I put out more videos. Remember to like, to comment, and to share. It is greatly appreciated. And I want to thank you, my subscribers and my new ones. Thank you for allowing me to share my passion for nails with you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful rest of your evening.